Evening, everybody. My name's uh, Paul Hassan, and um, I'm involved in a project called uh, Ujima Arts and Media. It's about bringing together a range of different arts, media, creative, and cultural elements into one in order to create something which is greater than some of the parts. I, was, um, uh, I came to Bristol in the mid-80s just as a sort of music scene started kicking off, and I guess I can say that now because the statute of limitations has probably run out on this particular offence, but I set up a pirate radio station with five of our friends, and the reason I did it was because um, I was sick of the music that I listened to, my friends listened to, was just not being res uh, reflected at all in the, in the mainstream media, and um, I mean a number of the artists we got on, um, the sort of Ronnie Sides early on in the day, uh, the Fresh Four, and Matt of attack, etc. all went on to, to, to get some great fame later on. And despite all the resources the government spent in terms of trying to shut us down, they ironically ended up awarding a number of them um, industry awards for the, uh, for the money they brought into the country, selling platinum album after platinum album. But from then on, I got the bug bit, uh, the bug sort of bit me, and I thought, well, this, is, this area that we live in has got so much creativity there, um, but it's almost like cat and it's almost out of control at, at, at times. And I thought, well, if there was a way that we could sort of find a way of just buying Binding it together to creating something better than the sum of the parts there and create a real potent force. And why do I want to do that? Because I think right now in the current um, environment we're in, the current economy, um, areas like the inner city are particularly hard hit by, by the recession, by job losses and by the general sort of uh, misery that that creates. And rather than create a sort of dependency culture or, or create an environment where people are constantly holding out their hands for favours, we actually want to create a social entrepreneurial environment where young people people can look for opportunities and to, and to see the skills they've got and the creativity they've got of, of a way of making money and, and moving forward. Um, so who are we then? So there's Ujima Radio, which I'm also a director of at the moment, community radio station with Ofcom license now. And uh, we've got 24,000 listeners and uh, a very, very strong base within the city. Um, we uh, work with um, St. Paul's Carnival, 200,000 rev revelers who, who come to that every year. It's, in fact, the last year the police reported was the best ever year that, it, that it's already had. And a range of smaller arts, media and other um, organisations. So, um, you know, so what, 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 what are the things we're actually doing? I guess early on I got really hung up with trying to get organisations to work together and governance structures, and I realised that actually it was a complete antithesis of what arts and media is all about. I had to start at the point of creativity. And so we set up like a film club, for example, where we work with the watershed, and we brought in films that wouldn't otherwise be, be seen um, in the city of particular interest to ethnic minority communities. And the extra spin we, we put on them, like some of the films we're shown here, The Fade, where we've actually got um, the uh, black barber shops basically across the inner city of Bristol to come in and talk about that as a cultural space. We've got slam poetry um, film, and then we've got slam poets to talk about uh, that as well, as well as the, um, the, the political, the cultural um, uh, stories as well. Um, and we felt that was really important to actually introduce uh, a, a generation into cine literacy so they could understand film, criticise film, talk about film, and get inspired to make their own films, actually, which is part of what we wanted to do. Um, you're welcome to see those uh, films. They're actually being screened right now in the watershed, um, uh, starting from tomorrow and going right the way through to the end of October. So the other things we've, we've um, got involved with is um, we felt as well, the other thing we really wanted was, a, was to get a radio soap opera. We're calling it Art the Arches on Steroids, basically. Set in St. Paul's and Easton, but really just summing up all of the vibrancy going on, and we're right in the middle of putting that together now. Fantastic opportunity for creatives, for writers, for actors, and also for technicians as well. And we've managed to get some support from uh, Radio 4 uh, producers, uh, um, obviously fantastic support from the SSC, which has helped us to get that point. The other things we're running are the, are the citizen journalism pro programs, and they've been amazing in terms of getting young people uh, from a standing start over a six-week period to, to look at things like the mayoral election, understand policy and politics, understand radio skills, and go out and interrogate and make programs about those things. And so far, we put 80 people through those types of programs with them um, support from the universities, from the police, from the watershed. And now we're working with No West Media as well, trying to cut across the tribalism of this city. So the inner city are working, and we're trying 
trying to set up an extra base where, uh, where those individuals who are often marginalized can now come together and find a bit of strength. And in the future, we're developing a digital strategy. We're working on, uh, obviously, Bristol's got green, um, uh, European uh, green capital for, for 2015, so we're working with the city on promoting that within the inner city and within young people. We're also looking at how we can extend a range of those activities and eventually also get our own building in the center, which we're working on right now. So the future is very bright, the future is very green, and, um, and I'd like to particularly thank um, SSC for giving us the opportunity of being able to do that. Thank you.